All right, so section 6.4, we're on page 272 in our books, guys. Page 272 in your books. All right, so again, here's your rules. If there's an even number of negatives, it's a positive answer. If there's an odd number of negatives in my expression, it's a negative answer. Take a minute to write this rule down. Okay, so in example one, I'm multiplying all of these uh, integers. So the first thing I'm going to ask is, how many negatives do I have? In example A, how many two. negatives? Two. So two is even. So it's a positive answer. Do you see how I went about that? Two, that's an even number. Even number of negatives is a positive answer, 35. All right, now what about negative 8 times 2? How many negatives do I have? One. That was so weak. How many negatives do I have? One. One. Okay, so one negative, that's odd, so it's a negative answer. Negative 16. What about negative 12 times 0? zero. Negative zero? 0? Is there such thing as no, a negative no 0? No, oh, it's just 0. <laughs> Just zero. What about four times negative six? How many negatives? One. one. So is my answer positive or negative? Negative. Negative, because one is an odd number. Negative 24. All right, now I want you to try five of them yourself. Your turn now, numbers one through five on page 273. <coughs> All right, just working these problems. What's 9 times 2? 18. 18. What's negative 3? 12 or negative 12? Negative 12. Positive. It's positive. Here's why. There's two negatives. That's even. So a positive answer. Number three. Negative 25. Negative 25. Number four. Negative 49. Negative 49. Oh, <laughs> seven times seven. You got the negative right. All right, what about zero times four? Negative 14. Zero. zero. Who got them all? Who got them all? Awesome. Just missed one? Did you just miss one? Okay. All right, so now in example two, now I'm just evaluating these with variable expressions, okay? So a squared when a equals negative three. It's important that you put negative three in parentheses because the parentheses mean that you're multiplying negative three times itself. That's important in the sign for your answer because negative three times negative three, how many negatives is that? Two. Two, so is my answer positive or negative? Positive, positive nine. Positive 9. So make sure when you're evaluating and substituting that you put it in uh, parentheses. All right, now on the second one, I'm going to substitute 2 times negative 4 times 6. All right, so how many negatives do I have? One. 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 So is my answer positive or negative? negative? It is negative. So go ahead and write the negative in your answer. And what's 2 times 4? Eight. 8. What's 8 times 6? 48. 48. Good job. 48. All right. I want you to try to substitute and solve the last one. It should say y equals negative 2. All right. Go ahead and substitute and solve the third one. All right. So 3 to the second power times negative 2. So I go 3 times negative 2? No. Negative 18. Yeah, I have to do the exponent first. 3 squared is 9 times negative 2 is? Negative 18. Negative 18. Who got it right? Who got it right? Good. Good job, guys. All right, now in example 3, let's read this example. It's a Greenland example. Greenland, we know that that's pretty far north. And it's cold. Okay, and it's pretty cold up there. It says, most of Greenland, guys, listen, most of Greenland is covered with ice that in some places is almost 2 miles thick. That's over 10,000 feet. All right? But scientists estimate that three feet, feet of this ice melts each year. So find the change in the thickness of the ice after 10 years. Well, let me ask you this. If ice is melting, is that positive or negative? Negative. It's going to be negative. How can I represent that as an integer? Oh. Minus, minus. Negative three. Negative three. Very good. Negative. Times how many years? Ten. ten. Times ten years. Well, what's negative three times ten? Ne negative thirty. Negative thirty. And make sure you label. Okay? Negative 30 feet. 
What? That's feet. It looks like it. <laughs> that looks like feet. You try writing on an iPad. <laughs> okay. All right. That's negative 30 feet. Okay. If you understand that, that's everything you need to know for 6.4.